If you have ever taken a psychology class or have a scroll down on social media for enough time, you will likely encounter the Vaser Ribbon. The Vaser Ribbon is an optical illusion that brings out two perspectives. One is two black faces facing each other in a white background. The second one is a white face in the middle with a black background. Your perspective is heavily influenced on your previous experiences or in your background. If I ask someone what this person thinks about certain topic, their perspective might be very different than mine, just because we have different world views. Now, after hearing this, I want you to think about what successful means to you, what it means to be successful, and what does it take for you to be successful. The Western view teaches us that in order to be successful, we need to be actively engaged in a cause, doing a lot of tasks that will lead us to that goal. And that is true. However, being actively engaged or being productive means that we need to take care of our time. And when we are not doing that, when we're not being productive, that's a waste of our time. And sometimes this perspective leads us to think that having fun is a waste of time. This is wrong because this can cause a lot of issues in our mental health. It can overload ourselves and lead us to breakdowns or even burns, burnouts. Is that what really being successful mean? We need to rethink our concept of being successful and we need to see the issues that it is causing in college students. The National College Health Assessment in 2017 asked college students along the, among the country what they thought about um, their mental health and if they felt overwhelmed in the past 12 months. 80% of them said that they indeed felt overwhelmed. But what was even more alarming was the fact that 40% of them felt like they were not able to function. They were just not functioning. This is a huge problem. As a college student, I have felt this way before. It is very stressful and not being able to do all the things that we have in a to-do list is very stressful. However, there is a very simple solution to take care of our mental health that might be very counterintuitive according to our Western view, but it is very simple and it is a manageable solution, which is leisure time. Leisure time or free time has been proven to decrease our level of stress, to help us to become more productive and increase our enjoyment in life. Different studies have shown this and have shown that people that actually schedule leisure time in their day are more able to accomplish more and feel even more productive than before. Now, you might ask, what does leisure time or what kind of things can I do in my leisure time? Well, it could be different things like cooking or dancing, exercising, painting, even reading a book or watching a Netflix show at the end of the day. It is whatever activity that would help you to enjoy life. Now, I want to introduce you to someone that it is very dear to me and I used to treat her really poorly when I was in my freshman year. This person is my freshman self, my 17 year old version. When I was a freshman, I was really eager to start college. I was a foreign student who was really excited to study neuroscience and start my classes. I was really prepared to do whatever it took to accomplish my goals and be at the same level than my classmates. But when this wasn't a thing, when I encountered stress, when I encountered low grades, and when I was doing all what was in my power and it wasn't working, I had a breakdown. I was beating myself up because I didn't have time to actually cry and seek for help. However, I decided to go to therapy and ask for help, ask for a suitable solution. And my therapist told me that first I had to lower my load and second, I had to schedule leisure time. I 
wasn't ready for that. I didn't understand how scheduling time to not do something was gonna help me to get better and achieve my goals. However, I did give it a try. And after years, I can see the effect of the scheduling leisure time. It started little by little with little activities that would help me to relax during the day, to tell my stressors or tell myself that those stressors went away and that I had time to relax. And it did help. I now feel better. I feel more productive and able to accomplish my goals just because I decided to take a step further and schedule leisure time. Now, I invite you to do the same thing. Go ahead and schedule some leisure time this week. If you had your week planned and you don't have time to do it this week, do it next week, but do it. Now, before I end my presentation, I want you to go and get something to write down, even your phone or just a piece of paper where you can see the following thing. Schedule leisure time today. I promise you that you will see a difference in your life. If you give it a try, your stress levels will be reduced and you will see how you will be more productive. Thank you.